What do you get when you combine equal parts Power Rangers and Toxic Avenger and maybe mix in a little bit of Terminator 2 for good measure? You get Psycho Goreman, a blood-soaked space odyssey sure to impress any horror fan. Let's get into my review of Psycho Goreman. Roll the intro. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you are having a fantastic day. And before I get started, I want to let you know that I don't just do movie reviews on this channel. I do movie recommendations, trailer reactions, top 10 list, toys, collectibles, physical media. If you're a movie fan, subscribe to the channel and definitely like this video. Liking this video is a simple, free, and easy way to help out myself or any content creator that you check out on YouTube. Now we're going to get into Psycho Gorman. I'm going to tell you what I loved about it, maybe some things I thought could be improved with the movie, my overall thoughts, and then I'm going to recommend you some similar movie titles if you do in fact end up liking Psycho Gorman. So stay tuned for my recommendations at the end of the video. Psycho Gorman tells the story of our intergalactic creature who is hell-bent on destroying the universe, who is banished to Earth only to be discovered by two precocious children in their backyard. Uncover a stone that ultimately gives them control of this intergalactic badass. Uh, I first heard about Psycho Gorman from a trailer that was going around, I don't know, what seems like forever ago. It looked fun, it looked different, uh, it looked silly, it looked gory, all the amazing things that I love in a silly, goofy, gory horror movie. And after watching it, I am incredibly, incredibly satisfied with this movie. I've watched it twice now. Um, after seeing it, I absolutely fell in love with Psycho Gorman. Guys, this movie is a ton of fun. This movie was written and directed by Steven Kostansky. He's been kicking around in the industry for quite some time now. He gave us The Void, which kind of really put him on the map. He directed Leprechaun Returns, and he also did the W segment in ABC's Of Death 2, which really has his stamp on it. You can really tell when you go back and watch that segment. This guy has a real knack for special effects. The screen just drips of his influences all over, which I will talk about about. And that brings me into all of my positives, the first of which is the amazing practical effects. Now these practical effects, these gore effects, happen from beginning to end. It is non-stop. It is a bloodbath from beginning to end. And that's what's really going to be a selling point for horror fans and gore fans alike. You can throw a lot of blood and gore and guts into a horror movie and that's very cool, but the creativity, the craftsmanship, the cartoonishness, the silliness of it is just so much fun. And that's going to bring me into my second positive, which is the overall fun tone of this movie. I know for myself, I love blood and guts being thrown on the screen at me. I love it. I love it. But oftentimes those movies come with a super dark, uh, sinister tone like Hellraiser or, you know, even Nightmare on Elm Street or Friday the 13th. They kind of have a, uh, just kind of an evil, ominous tone. This movie has a completely different tone. And ultimately what you get is a fantastic fish out of water story with a couple of cute kids and a grumbly, mean, killing machine who is forced to discover his soft side. This idea and this premise has been used all over the place. From movies like Terminator to E.T. to Shazam, where you find something scary and it ends up being somewhat of a pet. And that's what you get with Psycho Gorman. As he's delivering these evil monologues about ripping these kids to shreds and eating their eyeballs, they aren't having it. They're like, okay, but we're just gonna play today. It's an absolute treat as a horror fan to be delivered all of these amazing things that we love to see as far as gore and destruction and blood splattering and guts. But it's not done so heavy handedly. It's not such an investment to watch like uh, Hellraiser or Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's not a grueling experience with you know, people in peril at all times. It's just fun. It's like a super, super hard R gore version of Power Rangers. You see these creatures and all the characters in the movie, you can see that they're clearly wearing rubber suits, okay? So, and it kind of just instantly became like my new favorite movie. Uh, 
from beginning to end, this movie is just an absolute blast. Like I said at the beginning of the review, I have some movie recommendations. Um, if you do end up being a fan of Psycho Goreman, I have five movie recommendations. For my movie reviews from now on, I'm going to be giving uh, recommendations to help you maybe discover more movies that you can enjoy as well. I'm also going to link below this video right here, which is age restricted, so it gets no love from YouTube. A few of these movies I do mention in that video, but there's also a couple I don't. So I'm gonna link that video down below. Give that video some love, because like I said, it's age restricted, so it does not get suggested at all, but it has some great, super gory uh, splatter films that I think you guys will really enjoy. But. Uh, First recommendation is Tokyo Gore Police. This movie is incredible. Um, all these movies kind of have this cartoonish, rubber suit, over the top, ridiculous gore um, that Psycho Goreman has. So these are all similar themes. Check out Tokyo Gore Police, it's fantastic. Um, another one I'm gonna recommend is the Basket Case Trilogy. The first movie isn't as heavy in the practical effects, but as uh, the second and third movies go on, they get uh, progressively goofier and uh, more and more and more mutated creatures become a part of the movie and it just becomes a showcase of practical effects. These movies are awesome. All three are really great. Frank Kenan Lauder is one of my favorite directors of all time. Check out the Basket Case Trilogy. And a movie which I know this movie was heavily influenced uh, in is The Giver with Mark Hamill. They also made a sequel to this one, but uh, this movie really, really uh, has a lot of similarities to uh, to Psycho Goreman. I highly recommend checking out The Giver. It is so much fun with creature effects by Screaming Mad George. Uh, he's a legend. Look up some of his movies. Uh, the next movie I, I'm going to talk about, um, Screaming Mad George, also did the effects for, and that is the movie Freak. This movie was uh, written and directed by Alex Winter from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. This movie is amazing. Randy Quaid plays this evil guy who comes up with this toxic waste thing that basically turns things into freaks. So he he can exploit them for a sideshow. What it ends up being is an amazing showcase of some of the most amazing special makeup effects that I have ever seen throughout the entire movie. I cannot recommend Freaked enough. We're supposed to be getting a new uh, remastered Blu-ray of this movie soon. And also Waxwork Records just put out the soundtrack. Um, so check that out too. And my final recommendation is Ricky O, the story of Ricky. I just noticed I still have my notes from when I made my uh, gore video. But uh, this movie is about a guy who gets sent to prison for revenging, for avenging the death of his girlfriend. He goes to this insane prison. This movie, I just watch this movie, just take my word for it and check out all of these movies. Watch a trailer for Ricky O, The Story of Ricky. This movie is one of the most insane movies I have ever seen and that you will ever see. Um, I can't recommend it enough. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Definitely go check out Psycho Gore Man. Definitely the first great movie of 2021 and one of my favorite movies. I think will be one of my new favorite movies of all time. It's incredible. Check out Psycho Goreman. Check out my other videos. Subscribe to this channel. Stay weird, and I'll see you soon. Bye. I don't know what that was, but. I love movies. Gosh, I love movies. I love watching them, and I love making them.